Hello, Book Foxes. Welcome back to At the Book Fox Summaries, keeping books simplified for your busy life, one summary at a time. Welcome back to another exciting book summary session. Today, we're diving into Quiet the Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking by Susan Cain. This book is a must read for anyone who has ever felt overshadowed by the louder voices around them. Published in 2012 and winning the Goodreads Choice Award for Nonfiction. This book has received critical acclaim and it's not hard to see why. Susan Cain meticulously explores the hidden strengths and unique contributions of introverts who often go unnoticed in a society that seems to celebrate extroversion. Quiet has resonated with readers around the globe. It's a testament to the book's powerful message and its ability to connect with people on a deep personal level. It's a groundbreaking work that explores the strengths of introverts in a world that often favors extroversion. Kane delves into the science behind personality traits, offering insights into how introverts can harness their quiet nature to achieve success and fulfillment. So, let's get started on this journey of self-discovery and empowerment. In Quiet, Susan Kane reveals the undervalued power of introverts. She introduces us to the extrovert ideal, a societal bias that favors extroverted traits like assertiveness and sociability. Kane argues that from classrooms to boardrooms, this ideal shapes our expectations and opportunities, but introverts have their unique strengths too. Kane delves into the biology of temperament, explaining how introversion and extroversion are deeply rooted in our brain activity and responses to stimuli. She cites studies showing that introverts tend to have a higher sensitivity to dopamine, leading to a preference for less stimulating environments. This biological basis is crucial in understanding why introverts and extroverts behave differently. The power of introverts. In a world that often celebrates extroversion, the quiet strength of introverts is frequently overlooked. Yet, their unique qualities bring a different kind of power to the table. Introverts possess traits like deep thinking, creativity, and the ability to focus intensely. These characteristics allow them to delve deeply into subjects, producing innovative ideas and solutions that might be missed in the hustle and bustle of more extroverted environments. Susan Kane, in her book, provides examples of successful introverts such as Rosa Parks and Steve Wozniak. Rosa Parks, with her quiet determination, sparked a movement that changed the course of history. Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple, used his introverted nature to focus on the intricate details of computer engineering, leading to groundbreaking innovations. These individuals show that introverted leaders and innovators can make significant impacts. Their ability to work independently and think deeply allows them to bring fresh perspectives and solutions to the table. They often excel in roles that require careful planning, strategic thinking, and a high level of concentration. As Kane writes, there's zero correlation between being the best talker and having the best ideas. This statement underscores the importance of valuing the contributions of introverts. Their ideas, often formed in moments of quiet reflection, can be just as powerful, if not more so, than those of their more vocal counterparts. Embracing the strengths of introverts can lead to a more balanced and innovative society. Cultural Differences Kane also discusses how Western cultures often prioritize extroverted qualities while many Eastern cultures value introverted traits like humility and self-restraint. Understanding these cultural nuances helps us appreciate diverse contributions in global settings, practical applications, workplaces, and education. In today's fast-paced world, both workplaces and educational institutions are designed in ways that often cater to extroverted individuals. Modern workplaces and educational systems often favor extroverts, with open plan offices and group work. These environments can be stimulating and collaborative, but they can also be overwhelming for introverts who thrive in quieter, more controlled settings. Kane advocates for creating environments that allow solitude and deep work. She suggests that by providing spaces where individuals can work alone, we can enhance productivity and creativity. Spend your free time the way you like, not the way you think you're supposed to. This means embracing activities that bring you joy and peace, whether it's reading a book in a cozy corner or engaging in a quiet hobby. This applies to classrooms as well, where independent work can help introverted students thrive. By allowing students to work on their own, we can create a more inclusive and supportive learning environment. Independent work not only helps introverted students focus better, but also encourages self-discipline and critical thinking. Teachers can play a crucial role by recognizing the diverse needs of their students and providing opportunities for both group and individual work. 
by balancing collaborative and independent activities, we can ensure that all students, regardless of their personality type, have the opportunity to succeed and excel. This balanced approach can lead to a more harmonious and effective educational experience for everyone involved. In the workplace, creating serene spaces where employees can retreat for focused work or relaxation can significantly improve overall well-being and job satisfaction. Employers should consider the diverse needs of their workforce and design environments that cater to both extroverted and introverted employees. Simple changes, such as providing quiet rooms for meditation or allowing the use of noise-canceling headphones, can make a big difference. These adjustments can help introverts recharge and perform at their best, ultimately benefiting the entire organization. By fostering a culture that values both collaboration and individual work, we can create more inclusive and productive workplaces and educational systems. This approach not only respects individual preferences, but also harnesses the strengths of both introverts and extroverts, leading to greater innovation and success. Introverts and extroverts can have fulfilling relationships by understanding and respecting each other's differences. Effective communication and setting boundaries are key. Kane encourages introverts to embrace their natural tendencies, writing, don't think of introversion as something that needs to be cured. Self-awareness is crucial for introverts to thrive. By understanding their nature, they can make informed choices about work, relationships, and leisure. Kane also emphasizes advocating for changes in workplaces and educational settings to promote inclusivity and productivity. Quiet challenges the misconception that extroversion is inherently superior. Kane empowers introverts to recognize their strengths and encourages society to appreciate the unique contributions of introverted individuals. By fostering environments that support both introverted and extroverted qualities, we can unlock the full potential of everyone. Thanks for watching, Book Foxes. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments what book you'd like us to cover next. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. And remember, every voice matters, whether quiet or loud. See you next time.